welcome back to Nashville and Sign. We are hanging out on this beautiful, luxurious red couch with the one, the only, Jeremy Parsons. I said it right. You nailed it. <laughs> it's the right name and everything. I know, right? Even so, got the S. Parson. I'm plural, not singular. Oh, good point, guys. So when you're looking him up on social media, he is plural, not singular. Exactly. Not single. <laughs> and the crowd is silent. That's a, that's a different different question. For He's like, hold media. on, yeah. that's different. That's like tender. That's a, that's a DM message. Right I know. There. That's what that Slide is. into the DMs on that one, okay? Slide into those DMs. <laughs> So, Jeremy Parsons, welcome to the Red Couch. Thank you for having me. We were gifted to you through the fabulous Reverb Nation campaign. Thank you, Craig Snyder and team at Reverb Nation for letting us partake in such an amazing experience. I'm a Reverb Nation baby. I know, you're a Reverb baby. Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us, like, how you got to Nashville, how long have you been here, what brought you here, all that good stuff. We need to know the goods. Heck yeah. Well, uh, how I got here in a... Uh, in, uh, spaceship? Yeah. Actually, it was a truck, actually. <laughs> Depending on what you're on, it could be a spaceship. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Them shrooms, though. I can't. <laughs> but He's like, oh, God, another time. memory. Another time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I came from San Antonio, Texas, and uh, I played down there for a little bit. Nice. Because uh, the, the red dirt scene was really big when I was down there. Like, cats like... Randy Rogers and Jason Bolin, and nice. Texas musicians, and uh, the the choice was to either go to Austin and spend ten years in that town, or uh -huh. go to Nashville and spend ten years in this yeah. town. So maybe I just get cut a it little bit further. And I mean, we love yeah. Austin and all, but oh, there are, there are a few great. more resources in Nashville. Yeah, it is. It's I mean, you, you like us. Most I thought you were. <laughs> Like about to slap you. me. Yeah, <laughs> I needed that. I'm here. Thank you. I, I, I'm up. Well, I'm up. Midway through. We're not there yet. Midway through. We're I'll still just getting bitch cozy. Slappy. Just right there. Yeah. The, Boom. The red mark. That's my good stuff. I know. Yeah. So it, it just seemed like a, the right. I mean, I don't know if it was the right idea, but it felt like the best choice for yeah. sure. And uh, I'm still here, so I guess. I'm so here. how long has that been since you made the move? Nine years. Damn, and, and, man. Yeah. yeah almost You're like Chris years. Stapleton style, like almost ten years. It's uh, about that time. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't quite hit those notes. But well, yeah, you know, like, it's, the, it's the, I know, it's a, <laughs> only in the shower, only in the shower. Not even in the shower, <laughs> unless I'm falling down or something. <laughs> <laughs> so you came here to pursue music, I'm assuming. I did. Cool, yeah. cool. And so did you jump right into writing? Is that what, is that how you kind of got in? In, uh, in Texas, I, I got into writing. I was, I was just playing other people's songs and was doing open mics and, and that whole uh, whole deal. And then I was like, I should try to write my own stuff. Yeah, and then yeah. my, I played it for my dad and he hated it. And I just been, <laughs> I tried to, I tried to write one that he liked and uh -huh. I finally did. So yeah, was, you're like, <laughs> when? That was the challenge. And then by that time it had turned into yeah. a career. So, so yeah. you've got this really cool sound, like this um, old school kind of country vibe going, um, which is so unique. I remember when we heard you out of so many submissions when we heard you um that was our rule is if we listened for 30 seconds and we couldn't continue to swipe then we'd we'd have to stay right there and continue and go and listen to another song so that's what happened with you is we were like damn man this is really unique this is different and in country community we're like this is outside of the box of what's currently happening in country yeah that's, so that's... tell us kind of what you've got going on right now with with uh, your project well, I put it out uh, middle of last year. The uh, record's called Things I Need to Say, nice. and it is exactly that. Uh, <laughs> my parents had gotten a divorce, so I was dealing with it. I I'm, I'm, was adopted by my grandparents, so it was already weird because yeah. I had other siblings that were like, you're not really our sibling type of thing, and then they split up, and Aww. it was just like got getting... like, Have you ever seen like two Dobermans fighting over a chew toy? <laughs> I was the chew toy. <laughs> That's kind of what it felt like. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm playing shows off of that anywhere I can. And uh, I play downtown a lot on the weekends, too, because it's, like, it's a good way to get to a fan base. Nice. So and, I, I if, assume your whole EP is, like, really relatable to people going through hardships or, or I mean, it's with something so deep like yeah. that, like, you probably went... And straight to the pen and said things that you've never said out loud before. 
Yeah, yeah. It's it's basically like a lot of the stuff is very like fuck you, mom type stuff. Yeah. And it's it's like in a I don't someone made a joke about and it. And it's being like country, like, so that's like yeah, that's kind yeah. of like rock star country, and I'm digging it. Right well, now. someone compa- the best comparison I heard. We were in the studio, and my buddy who works on a lot of like rap music, and he came in. He was like, "Damn, this is like Americana Slim Shady." <laughs> And Somebody I was like, you're just talking crap about your mom for like an hour. I was like, hey, hey I'm just cleaning out my closet. Hashtag thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Where's my snare? <laughs> I don't, and there's no snare in my headphones. We better not go too far. We're going to get on some copyright Do the whole shit. Eminem show know, right, right now. <laughs> Nowadays, everybody want to talk, but you got something to say. Nothing comes out when they move to live. Just a bunch of gibberish. I'm exactly exactly the fuck out about dress. Say to somebody you hate. Anyone trying to bring chubby wet. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. I love it. I love yeah. it. So you've got the EPL, and you're kind of like, yeah, I know that you're, you've hit some interviews for it. Um, so what is it? Uh, do you have anything that's coming out, video or anything specific coming out on that? Anytime so soon? We, we made one video for the lead-off single, which was Burn This House Down. And I'm actually, like, this week, I'm, I'm freaking exhausted right now because we started shooting a video just recently, yesterday. For a Why yes. is the Bluebird Blue. Nice. And nice. And it's, it's cool. We're doing, like, a thematically, we're kind of staying, like, there's going to be stuff that looks like the album cover in there mm-hmm. and, uh, like, bleed over from the first music video. Nice. And then uh, there's going to be some animation stuff in there, which is really cool. Cause nice I, and I, unique. I love cartoons. So yeah. I don't watch really anything else. It's, like, pathetic to a lot of people, but... Hey. Mentally, I can't. I can't function if I'm watching. Reality TV isn't real to me. <laughs> You're like Cartoon- animation is real to Cartoons me. Cartoons make more sense in my brain for some reason. Hey, shout out <laughs> because that's unique and cool and different, and and you're kind of cutting past all of the traffic. Um, that's going on in Nashville right now because nobody's really doing an animation except for shout out Ren, who had some cool animation. He's class. Come on, I got this six. I think it was class six, Ren, but did some animation as well. So kudos nice. on taking a unique Take approach. Explosion. Implosion. They're all dead. <laughs> and they're coming down. Um, so tell us something weird, random, not a lot of people know about you. And if you want to go illegal, we'll just like blur your face out for the entire interview. Nobody will know. And do like the deep voice. Uh-huh. Type yeah, we'll thing change your voice. Yeah. <laughs> this is more like this is more like funny, stupid. Like I said, I'm adopted by my grandparents. Uh-huh. So my birth mother uh who who uh couldn't handle the job she is became my sister so like i have this big joke and it's the most southern thing that you if you, it depends on how you say it with the accent so i'll walk around and i'll just stand there when i'm shocked to be like well i'll be my mother's brother <laughs> <laughs> so he's got t-shirts available i'll be my mother's I'll brother be my, my, hashtag i'll be my mother's brother we're starting the campaign start hashtagging it now it's Apparel's an adoption organization soon. there you go yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, at least you can make light of a tough situation. And somebody told me the other day, they said, when you can laugh and talk about a hard situation, that means that you're in the clear, like that you're that you're on the up and up from well, yeah. recovery. Yeah, and it, it could always be worse, too. That's True, always man. the thing, man. I'm, my, my grandparents like the, literally saved my life, so I was, Aww, I'm grateful. That's it's awesome. Cool. Shout out, grandparents. Not that I would know any different if yeah. I was dead. You yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> and he's got jokes. Yeah. Um, so tell us, we have a wild segment. It's W H Y L D. What have you learned, dude, along your path, Texas, Nashville? What have you learned? Your most significant learning lessons that you can give to some up and comers. Uh, the best advice I could say would be, uh, like, know who you are when you come to this town, because yeah. a lot of people are going to try to tell you what to be. Yep. And the, at the end of the day, like, it's way easier to just be yourself and like do what naturally comes out of you as a person and as an artist. Yeah. Because yeah. every, everyone's going to tell you it's wrong, but if it feels right to you, man, no one can ever take that And everybody has an opinion. If you went after everyone's opinions, oh, yeah. you're pulled 28 million different ways. You know what ways. they say about those two, right? They're like an asshole. Yeah, everybody got one. Yeah, and they smell bad. <laughs> yeah, <sure>. Same. <laughs> well, I mean, you, not me. No. It happens, man. It happens. Just kidding, just kidding. It's like roses over I like here. I like Mexican food. It's <laughs> Get off my case. So we're going to sync him up to all things social media and anything he's got coming out this new, like his brand new music video that will be coming out soon. And get on over there and say, hey, what up to Jeremy Parsons. <laughs> we're out of this bitch. I should have tried to pretend, say that it could have been fixed when I knew damn well that it couldn't be. With an old matchbook and a kid.